Hi everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. It's Faithful Friday where I share the next page I created in the book of the Bible that I'm currently working through, which is the Gospel of John. Here you can see that I'm in chapter 20 and praise the Lord we have made it to the resurrection. And I'm focusing specifically today on verse 17 of John 20, the second half. Jesus is talking to Mary Magdalene and he says, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. And I just thought that really conveyed such a sense of intimacy. And it is an intimate relationship now that we get to have with God the Father because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Before I go in with my watercolor pencils that you can see there to my left, I'm simply rewriting that scripture on the page. That's going to be my focus. And this is actually a message that Jesus gave to Mary to convey to his other disciples. And her response was, I have seen the Lord. So after erasing all my pencil marks on the lettering, I'm going through and actually erasing my pencil marks on the sketch that I did of Jesus and Mary before beginning to go in with my watercolor pencils. And I chose to start with their faces. Sometimes that is the hardest part. And I thought if I start with that, then I can kind of jump back and forth between their faces and other things on the page. When I sketched this, again, I was really trying to convey this sense of intimacy that Jesus had brought. This sense of intimacy wasn't present before within mankind's relationship with God. Yet because Jesus was alive and had conquered death and sin, now we get to be very intimate with God our Father. We get to be in relationship with Him. You can see that it's about here that I start bouncing back and forth between working on Jesus and Mary's faces and other elements on the page. I wanted Jesus's robe to be kind of a light color. I went in there with some gray watercolor pencil and then kind of with a heavier hand and then finally with some black to add some more shadows. And you can see these watercolor pencils are great. It's just a matter of sort of coloring in the space and then going back in with a damp brush to smooth things out. I decided to draw Mary kneeling in front of Jesus sort of to demonstrate this sense of awe that she must have felt. She was not expecting to see Jesus resurrected from the dead when she went to the grave that day. And yet that's exactly what she found. I do wanna talk a little bit about this part. I went back and worked on their mouths for a little bit and just couldn't come up with anything that I liked. And here I try again and don't like it. So I'm just, I left that part in the video so that you can see that when you do something you don't care for much, you can just get it wet again and blot it off with a paper towel. And I ended up not using colored pencils on their lips because I couldn't seem to get it to work well. So you'll see later what I did to solve that problem. I really think drawing people is one of the most challenging things we can do. I just again want to reiterate that what I'm doing here is not creating beautiful art. It's not about that, it's about spending time with the Lord in my Bible, thinking about all that he has done. There you can see I grabbed my pit artist pen and finished their lips just by drawing them in carefully with kind of a dark pink color, and then I left them alone. So I really enjoyed working on these rocks that make up this grave where Jesus' body was laid. And you'll see it's a simple process of putting down a dark color toward the bottom, medium color, and then leaving the top a whole lot lighter. And I'll do the same process, just going in later with a brush. Adding in some grass here, 
kind of messily, letting there be some texture, different greens, darks and lights. And then again, bouncing back to Jesus and Mary's faces to update their eyebrows a little bit. Adding just this little bit of water to the page is such a fun process because things really seem to come alive when you take this step and it's just a lot of fun. This is gonna finish off the page for me and I did want to show you the opposite side of the page on the back and you can see that it hasn't damaged or hindered the image on the other side which is a great thing about watercolor pencils in your Bible. Thank you so much again for watching today. You can support me and this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. In the box below you'll also find information about this page, links to fun playlists, and how you can join my Bible Journaling Facebook group. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. See you next time.